हेलो बच्चों द क्वेश्चन इज इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टेक्निक्स द एम्ब्रियोज आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू एसिस्ट दो फीमेल्स हु कैन नॉट कंसीव सो द गिवन बिलो आर द टेक्निक्स विच आर नोन एज ए आर टीज और द एसिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्टिव टेक्नोलॉजीज दीज टेक्निक्स हेल्प द कपल्स विच आर अनेबल टू हैव अ चाइल्ड सो दीज आर assisted reproductive technolo uh, technologies or techniques now there are several kinds of arts and we will see uh, like the zipped iut first so in zipped zipped is zygote intra fallopian transfer while iut stands for intrauterine transfer now what happens in zipped either the their first step means these are the techniques which are included in embryo transfer or et look uh, means if there is in vitro fertilization in vitro means in the test tube so if the female is unable to conceive then they the couple can go with the in vitro fertilization where the sperm is collected from the male and the ovum is collected from the female now the sperm and egg they are fertilized in the laboratory conditions under the controlled conditions and the zygote is formed now the zygote undergoes cleavage so now it is transferred to the female this female can be the genetic mother or it can be the surrogate mother now if this embryo is transferred below the eight cell blastomere stage it means below the eight cell stage if the embryo is below the eight cell stage then it is transferred in the fallopian tube of the female this female can be gen gen uh, genetic mother or it can be surrogate mother so if the embryo is being transferred below the eight cell stage or up to the eight cell stage then it is transferred in the fallopian tube and this technique of transferring the embryo up to the eight cell stage in the fallopian tube is known as zipped while if this embryo is transferred after eight cell stage then it is transferred directly into the uterus of the genetic or surrogate mother so that technique is called the intrauterine transfer now we can easily now see that in both these cases the embryo is being transferred so these are the techniques of embryo transfer okay while if we look further then gift gift stands for gamete intrafallopian transfer so as the name indicates here the gamete is transferred suppose a female is unable to produce a produce an ovum so the ovum from another female is transferred into the fallopian tube of the of this female so gamete intra fallopian transfer it involves the transfer of ovum from a donor to a female other female now Uh, zipped i have already mentioned it so gift doesn't involve the transfer of embryo rather it involves the transfer of gamete so it is discarded now the next technique is icsi it stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection it is a technique of in vitro fertilization where the ovum is collected from the female and in its cytoplasm the sperm is injected means the semen or the concentrated semen is injected directly or single sperm can also be transferred through an injection into the cytoplasm of the ovum and it leads to the formation of zygote so in this technique the, this technique is followed by embryo transfer so this is not the case because icsi is a technique of in vitro fertilization where the sperms are directly injected into the cytoplasm of the ovum 
the next is gift and icsi so again gift involves the transfer of gamete and icsi involves the in vitro fertilization by injecting the sperm directly into the cytoplasm of the ovum so the right answer of this question is option a i hope this explanation is clear all the best